Hi drug first and welcome to the next topic in our geography course, Atmosphere. Now some think this is the most difficult of the higher courses, but personally I think if you can get your head around it, it's one of the best and most straightforward courses to do. But first up, what the SQE says you need to know. You need to know about the global heat budget, you need to know about the redistribution of energy by atmospheric and oceanic circulation, and you need to know the causes and characteristics and the impact of the intertropical convergence zone pretty much here after called the IDCZ. As also, there's more background content that you need to know and the specification be, can be broke down like this. First thing you need to know is what the term solar insulation means. And this is the heat and energy that Earth receives from the sun. But in terms of lesson content, number one, you need to understand what is the atmosphere and a brief understanding of what the different layers of the atmosphere are. Number two, what is the global heat budget? This is, you may have came across this before in the climate change topic, if you've done this one already, but this is more in its natural state, understanding how solar insulation is reflected or absorbed by the atmosphere. For more details, check out the video here or here, wherever it is. Part three. After you have an understanding of the global heat budget, you need to understand that there's actually variations in our planet about how much solar insulation different parts of our planet get. So we need to explore the reasons for why the equator is so warm and why the poles are so cold. Part four and five. Once you have an idea about these variations, we then need to look at how our Earth balances out. So how it takes that surplus at the equator and moves it to the depths of the poles. Now it does this through atmospheric circulation, it's about the air movement in our atmosphere and how that takes a surplus from the hot equator to the cold poles and vice versa, oceanic circulation. Oceanic circulation is a movement within water and sea currents, or ocean currents, about moving energy from the poles to the equator and the equator to the poles. So these are two separate parts you'll need to learn and understand about how this is redistributed through our planet. Part 6, and this is all about the ITCZ or the Intertropical Convergence Zone. This is where the two air masses that we looked at in part 4, the atmospheric variations, meet. You need to be able to discuss the types of weather this, these air masses bring and how it impacts an area. Normally this is done through interpretation of climate graphs uh, on a specific area, normally West Africa. That's everything you need to know for the atmosphere topic. I'll actually be uploading more videos on this in the next few like days and weeks uh, with a lot more detail on each of these sections we've discussed. You can also go to my website, Scottish Geography, which has lessons, worksheets, quizzes, and exam style questions, all nicely kind of packaged in a way that should be really accessible. The link for that is in the bio down below. But that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the atmosphere topic and I'll see you next time.